Ancientchess.com virtual chess shop video number four. Some new travel sets from China. I've got five new games from China. Most of them are magnetic, and then I've got a couple of old things to show you. This is the new stuff, and then a couple old ones over there. I also have some booklets that go with these games. This is the Chinese chess. This is Reversi, um, a game of Go. I've also got a new Dosho Chi set and a new interesting Lutsan Chi set. These are a couple old games, uh, a Chinese chess and a regular chess that I've got here. But uh, let me show them to you one at a time. The Chinese chess is magnetic. It's really nice. And uh, you'll see that um, all of these five sets I got from China are from the same manufacturer, so they have the same kind of theme. There's a little clip on here. The pieces are in a cylinder that neatly fits securely inside the box very nicely designed and um, let me show you the pieces I think you'll like these pieces because they have very clear symbols on them very clear Chinese characters they're kind of stylized but in a way that's easy to understand it's easier for Western players like myself to play with a game like this and it's also easier for new players to learn that's the horse by the way let's see I've also got the um, car or the cart the um, chariot I guess you call it and the can oh, look see there's a magnet loose inside there that's okay that's the way these are they're uh, like made hollow with magnets inside of them there's the red and the uh, the red horse and the red chariot and uh, um, let me show you this booklet this is the booklet that I send with all of my Chinese chess games I composed it myself and it's very accurate and complete uh, rendition of the rules of tiny Chinese chess Got some shots of it here for you to see. Very good magnets, very good set. This is what you get with it. Um, anyway, check this out uh, on the listings. And let me just wrap this one up. You see it sits uh, securely in the box here. See you shake it, stays in place. Right. So, um, yeah. Very neat, thoughtfully designed. And. Uh, just the thing for a gift or for something to have with you all the time. This next game is Reversi. It's known as Othello because it was recently marketed, well, recently, in the last couple of decades, it was marketed as Othello. And um, here are the rules right here, but you don't really need that many words to understand the rules of this game. It's very simple to understand, and the strategies become very intriguing. These are the pieces. They're black on one side, white on the other. And uh, I don't know if you know this game, but basically what you do is one side plays black, the other side plays white, and you make your opponent's pieces flip over to your pieces by surrounding them on two sides of a line. So for instance, white's going to play here, making a line that flips these two black pieces. They become white and black will play a piece and do the same to some of white's pieces. It goes back and forth, back and forth. They um, have the magnets inside, like I was showing you before. They're about an inch in diameter. Here they are on the board. Here's a picture of the set. The magnets are very good. This is what you get with the set. And, um, yeah, the rules for this, for this game are also on the back of the box. So, um, here you go. They fit in there nicely. It snaps shut. Um, when I show you the box here, you'll see that the rules are there too. So even if you lose that little insert that comes with it, you've still got the rules on the back of it. But uh, even so, you don't really need to have a lot of rules to read. The game is so simple. Once you get it, you just go with it. It's a great game. Now, the game of Go is the most ancient game that's still played widely in the world. And this is a um, simpler set. The tournament Go board has 19 by 19 lines, creating 361 points. This set has 13 by 13 lines. Here's the booklet. Of course, I have the complete rules of Go very clearly laid out, as I like to do. This is an ancientchess.com production. As I was saying, oh, oh yeah, this uh, is the other game that comes with it. You can play this game um, various versions of five in a row with this set. So um, all the different versions of that, Pente, Irinse, Gobang, there are many variations, but the principle is very simple. You try to make a line of five um, pieces in a row. Anyway, as I was saying, a Go set, the pieces are magnetic. There are 
uh, 13 by 13 line, so there's 169 points, which makes a very reasonable game for normal play versus for casual play or for learning or for just having a good game that doesn't take forever. You see how I pick these up? They have little edges that are very easy to handle, and yet the magnets hold them very firmly on the board. So it's very thoughtfully designed in, in all ways. It's extremely practical, just the right size, just the right design. Pieces are very nice to touch. That's what you get with the set, and um, I think this is fantastic. You know, if you like to play Go, if you want to learn it, if you want to play some of the, the simpler games, or you want to share these games with friends, as a gift or something to show them. This is Doshochi, and that means fighting animal game in Chinese. This is the pamphlet that I've done for it. I actually handle several Doshochi sets, and this is a new one. This is the first magnetic set that I've handled. Just got these in, and uh, you see it's the same type of design, a snapping case and a very nicely laid out board. There's the pieces, and um, you know, in a cylinder like the others. Uh, these also have the little magnets in them. And uh, I don't know if you know this game, but uh, it's very easy to learn. It's made to be enjoyable for children with little animal characters. You've got the rat or the mouse. You've got the cat. You've got the dog. You've got the, um, the wolf. You see there's a hierarchy. They get bigger and bigger. Up from the wolf is the leopard. Up from the leopard is the tiger. Then next up is the lion. And the biggest of all is the elephant. There you go. They hold well on the board with the magnets, and yet they're very easy to move around when you play with them. They just slide right around on the board. Beautiful set. You could take this uh, traveling in a moving bus or something, and uh, it would never lose your position. Very handy, very aesthetically enjoyable set. So you can see that these are all, you know, very similar. Well, they're, you know, they're all basically one production of various games. The last game I'd like to show you here is Lutsanchi. Now, I've handled a few different versions of this game in the past. It's a very popular Chinese game, and it's more complicated than the other games I just showed you. However, this game is made for children. It's made with a very pretty design. The pieces are little faces. They're like little characters. And so they're more easy to identify if you're not used to reading Chinese. Here's my booklet on Lutsanchi with the standard board and um, the standard rules, but it has these pieces in particular, the happy little faces. And notice those faces also have the Chinese name on them too, so somebody who's used to this game won't have any trouble playing it as well. You can keep the booklet on hand so that as you play it, it reminds you of who the different characters are and what the relative strengths are. Here's the flag. That's the point to capture the flag. Here's a sample of one of the soldiers right here. And uh, let's see, I have two of these in my hand right now. There's another one, same thing. But here's a um, step up as a stronger, higher ranked official. And here's the highest ranked official of all with his big, uh, enthusiastic face. Anyway, a whole bunch of pieces. Um, this set, by the way, is not magnetic. Um, the pieces stand very nicely on the board. Oh, by the way, there are girls in this set, so you know you don't just have to send the boys out to get their heads blown off in this war. The, the girls can do it too. But uh, hey, it's only a game. Uh, this is, uh, oh yeah, this is kind of an enjoyable little happy face guy. They're actually pretty happy for little soldiers. But um, as I was saying, it's, it's not magnetic, so you move the pieces around easily. They stand up well on the board, but you wouldn't want to take this on a moving bus or on a boat or something because it would go, whoa, and you'd lose your position. A beautiful set. Very nice. They come all in a sheet of things. You snap them off the sheet, and they're, um, they sit in the box. And, uh, well, I think you get the idea. It's a great game. If you know Lutsanchi, you can see how this would be easier and more fun for somebody who's just learning or for kids to play or even for somebody who's used to the game. It's just a beautiful little set. So those are my five sets from China, and here are some things I've had for a while. This is also from China, but it's made of wood, not magnetic, just a really beautiful little handy travel set. Um, I've had these for a while. Um, people like them a lot. I like them. Uh, they're just the perfect example of Chinese chess in a small, convenient form. There you have it. And uh, you know, they're in there. I'll show you some pictures. 
They're, these pieces are printed a little more. There's some variety to how they come out. Um, there's my kids playing and showing you the game when they were just little. Oh, they're so adorable. And uh, it fits in this neat little felt pouch. It has the rules with it and everything. And of course, chess. Yeah, that's right, the kind we're all familiar with. Western, European, now international chess. This is from India, actually. It comes well packed, as you see. And of course, it comes with my set of the rules, which are as informative and instructive as they are interesting. I have little things to say about the game, tell you a little about the history and uh, some little dramas that have occurred around the chessboard. All this from me, ancientchess.com. And uh, let me show you this set because it's really cute. They're carved wooden pieces, but they're tiny. Here, this is set together with magnets. And uh, let's show, let me show you some pieces here. See how they, I don't know, it's beautiful the way they're laid out. This is a little horse, a little knight. It's all, you know, carved wood. It's got its little nostrils and its little eyes and its little ears. You know, the, the king looks like a king. You see the wood grain going through it just carved like a perfect king but small um, you know it's a perfectly standard set but just very small and the magnets are good they're good but they don't make it difficult to to manage the pieces will move around very easily on the board you can pick them up and put them down without trouble but you know you can shake this board up a little bit without uh, disturbing your game uh, and this one has magnets holding it together. Some of them have a, a clasp, as you see in this picture, but um, it's the same set, really. It's just a different style. Some have magnets, some have clasp. Right now I've got magnets. So those are six sets I showed you just now. Xiang Chi, Reversi, Go, Dosho Chi, Lutsan Chi, another Xiang Chi, and a little wooden magnetic chess set. So um, go to my website, ancientchess.com. I've got these things for sale. They're very affordable, much less expensive than the higher end full size sets that I sell, but they're great to play with, great for gifts. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little show. Uh, give me the thumbs up and uh, pass this around to other people you think might be interested. Thanks for watching, ancientchess.com.